I have fond memories of Super Mario Sunshine. In elementary school, I would look forward to going home and playing this game, so it holds a lot of nostalgia for me. In my opinion, Mario Sunshine is a better game than Mario Odyssey. In Mario Sunshine, you had to work for each shine sprite you got, unlike Mario Odyssey, which hands them out like they're nothing. The story of Mario Sunshine was more engaging, and there was more difficulty. I'm going to expand on all these topics and try to keep it to the facts rather than my nostalgic feelings. So in Mario Sunshine you had to collect shine sprites in order to bring the sunshine back to Delfino. There were 120 shine sprites to collect in the game, and I believe you only had to collect 50 to beat the game. In Mario Odyssey you have to collect power moons in order to go to new kingdoms and eventually reach the final fight with Bowser. There are 999 power moons that you can get, but you only need 124 power moons to beat Bowser. 999 power moons make for great replay value, but it is so easy to get the 124 and beat Bowser that after it doesn't feel like there's any reason to keep getting them. In Mario Sunshine I was proud of each shine sprite I got. I can admit some missions to get shine sprites were poorly designed, but once I had completed it, it felt like I had accomplished something great. In Mario Odyssey the moons are handed out for doing something as simple as ground pounding a bump in the ground. Some moons are just in plain sight, and because of this I didn't feel like I was accomplishing anything great to get the power moons. The shine sprites feel way more rewarding to get, and each shine sprite you get helps restore the sunshine to Delfino. That leads to my next reason, the story. Ah yes, the story. I'm not going to say Sunshine's story is perfect, but I think it's close. Mario, Peach, and the Toads are all excited to go on vacation to Isle Delfino. They deserve it, but when they get there, they notice the Delfino airstrip is covered with goop. Mario goes to get help and finds Flood. After Mario cleans up the goop, two Piantas come to arrest Mario. We find out that Mario had been framed for graffitiing all of Delfino, and that darkness looms over Delfino because of missing shine sprites. So the judge decides Mario cannot leave Delfino until he cleans up the mess they think he made. This alone sets up an interest to continue playing the game. You feel bad for the Piantas as well as Mario for being framed. He just wanted to have a vacation, and now he has to save the day while being treated like a criminal. From this point, a Shadow Mario is seen a few times. He eventually steals Princess Peach and takes her to Pina Island. So Mario goes there and finally gets to talk to Shadow Mario, as well as figure out Shadow Mario's true identity. I won't say whose true identity is, just in case you don't know, but man did it shock me as a kid, and continued to keep me wanting to play the game. I think I can leave the story right there. As you can see, the story of Mario Sunshine has a lot of depth, and is what motivates the player to keep playing the game. Mario Odyssey's story is a bit more underwhelming. I can describe it in significantly less words. Bowser kidnaps Peach, tries to marry her. Mario meets Cappy, and we find out that his little sister has been kidnapped as well. So the two of them team up to rescue Peach and Cappy's sister. That's about it. It's not a bad story, but there just isn't much to it, and it didn't hold me as much as Mario Sunshine's did. Mario Sunshine had some very difficult shine sprites to get. Sometimes it took me more than one day to complete a shine sprite. Granted, I was younger, but I think the challenge of the game still holds up today. Mario Odyssey did not provide me with any challenge. I know the game picks up in difficulty after you beat Bowser, but by that point, my interest in playing the game had decreased. Mario Sunshine's difficult shine sprites kept me engaged until I finally got the shine spray I worked hard for.
I love Mario Sunshine and I love Mario Odyssey. I think both are fantastic games. I tried my best not to base this off of nostalgia, but I'm not a perfect person, so if you want to call me out in the comment section, feel free to. I'd love to have civilized conversations in the comment section on which game you like better and why that might be. The last thing I want to talk about is a rumor. There's a rumor of remakes being made for Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. And oh my goodness, I'm excited. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think there's a good chance of this happening. Just thinking about Mario Sunshine HD makes me so happy. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.